Growing up, I spent a lot of time watching children's cartoons. I was a child with access to a television set, so it was appropriate for me to do this. Um, one of the best parts about watching these cartoons was being able to go to the mall, at, uh, probably weekly, or I don't know how often. I was a child, and I wasn't very good at tracking time. Uh, and go to the toy store, I believe KB Toy Stores, and purchase toys that tied in with the cartoon uh, I was watching. So like this one here, this is Leech. He's from a cartoon and then I also got to take him home with me. Uh, so I could watch him on the screen even as I could hold him in my hand and so an interactivity took place. This also uh, happens a lot in games where games will have expansions or things that allow you to uh, further interact with the game via purchase. Uh, miniature games are very good about this, as well as some board games. One board game that's particularly good at um, allowing you the opportunity to purchase more and more things at, in order to interact with the game and experience that joy of purchase is Crossmaster Arena. Crossmaster Arena is a great vehicle for selling toys. Look how colorful they are. Look at the, they're, they're, they're very sturdy, these pieces, uh, these figures, and they live in a, in a rainbow color world. That's, that makes it that uh, pleasing to touch them and feel them and purchase them. The rules to the game are simple and very colorful, and they also feature other figures that you can get to uh, add to your Crossmaster game, which I'm sure you'll want to do. The game plays a lot like a light miniatures game. Players are going to have their teams of figures, which they're going to set up on the map, and then they're going to compete. Uh, the map, of course, is different than a miniatures game. A lot of miniatures games don't have maps. And the game has some other elements that make it feel differently than, you know, a miniatures game X. For example, unlike most miniatures games, the game is played to points. You want to uh, get rid of all the other team's points which you can get a number of ways. You can get points by killing someone, or you can get points by buying points with money. And if you see around the board, there's all these coins here. Uh, the fact that the existence of these coins kind of almost make the game feel like a, a video game, like a maybe like a Bomberman type game where you're running around on a grid and interacting with the environment. There's a bit of that. A turn starts with the roll of the dice, and if you get doubles on the dice, um, you, the tension increases. So that means both teams, or all teams, if you're playing with more than two players, uh, lose points. So that you can't just kind of sit back. There's The game is going to reach a, a conclusion. You need to have more points than your opponent. These two dice also double as powers that you can add to your, your team uh, for the turn. So as I said before, you can buy points with your money. You can also buy extra uh, powers for your people, which also gives it a little bit different feel than the miniature games I've played. Uh, you can get these kind of random tokens. Well, they're, they're random in the w terms of how they come up. And it's kind of got that typical board game thing where there's one face up and one in a pile and you can pick the one face up or you can pick the random one in the pile um, to kind of alter your people and make them stronger. And that's really, that's, that's one of the fun aspects of the game to me is customizing the characters. Because otherwise they kind of each have their own play style and you can work with them together, but it's fairly stagnant without these tokens to alter them. It's been my experience that the game is kind of played in two separate phases that kind of meld together, uh, just in terms of how it naturally plays out. Uh, to start with, you're going to be kind of maneuvering and picking up coins and buying powers for yourself, and then comes the actual combat. Uh, when, you know, as soon as someone gets close enough or someone gets the drop on someone else, then you start fighting and taking people out and just kind of seeing how your collection phase benefits you. So there's this kind of building phase and then a clash phase, which is, which is included in a lot of games. But the difference is, is this game is very colorful and it has very high quality figures that you might like to collect. And this game, um, as you interact with it, will allow you to uh, get the payoff of paying out to purchase more figures in order to enjoy the game. And lots of, some of the figures that are included with this game seem to have like hooks where they can be attached to other figures, um, like maybe build more teams and have more different combinations between the characters. And if, if you're interested in purchasing a lot of figures, then you could start with this game, Crossmasters Arena, and then buy more Crossmasters to add to your collection.